Hi! After a long wait, Samsung Galaxy S5 is finally available for purchase. Galaxy S5 was announced at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Galaxy S5 is the most anticipated smartphone of the year. It offers plenty of upgrades from the Galaxy S4, upgrades like a better camera, improved battery life or new features that I think you'll like. So let's find out more about Samsung Galaxy S5. thing you'll notice is the familiar form. S5 looks like S4 design with rounded corners, edge with a metallic appearance and physical home button which is joined by capacitive back button and the new recent apps button that replaced menu button on the left. Instead the back cover is different. Small ribs, rather points, cover the back that is made and it's available in four colors white, blue, gold and black. One of the important changes is that now Galaxy S5 is waterproof with IP67 rating, which means it can be sink in water. To survive in water, the USB 3.0 port was covered. Galaxy S5 works just like other waterproof smartphones. There is a rubber protection on the back cover and a cover cap which protects the USB 3.0 port. The strange thing is that the headphone jack does not need a cap, it is covered inside. Galaxy S5 is waterproof with IP67 rating, that means that the phone can resist to dust in water and can be immersed to a depth of 1 meter for up to a half an hour. Galaxy S5 has a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED HD uh, screen, which is 0.1 inches bigger than the Galaxy S4. The images are crystal clear and colorful with high contrast and well-defined edges. There is a screen adaption that alters tones in accordance with the application that you are using. Screen brightness is impressive, able to reduce reflection by Gorilla Glass 3 layer. Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 quad-core processor of 2.5 GHz is slight faster than what is found in competing smartphones and is supported by 2 GB of RAM. S5 is running Android 4.4.2 with Samsung TouchWiz interface. Battery life on Samsung Galaxy S5 is excellent. It can withstand a whole day without problems. The reason that the battery life was improved includes a larger battery and 801 Snapdragon processor that makes everything more efficient and maintains battery life. If you want the battery to take much more, you can use the ultra power saving mode. So 65% of the battery can take 8 days. The camera on the Galaxy S5 is one of the most powerful on the market with 60 megapixels, having the opportunity to film 4K. There are other features that have been improved, like real-time HDR mode that allows you to see how much images can be enhanced before shooting, faster autofocus and the ability to shoot 4K. The low light is a weak point for Samsung but in strong, natural light, images are perfect. Here is a photo gallery with pictures taken with the Galaxy S5. I will soon post a video review of the Samsung Galaxy S5 camera. There will be many more details there.
Let's start with Toolbox. Toolbox is a floating circle that expands to reveal five shortcuts to applications, uh, such as camera, gallery and computer. Everything is customizable and you can move the circle. Kidsmode is an optional app that turns your phone completely, making it perfect to be used by children. Kids will have, will have access only to your selected application, requiring a password to exit this mode. You can set multiple profiles if you have more children. Ultra Power Saving Mode is useful when you forgot the charger when you go on a trip. A quick press of a button turns off most connections and turns your screen into a grayscale mode, increasing the life of the phone. With only 10% battery, you will be able to use your smartphone for 24 hours. Download Booster joins together Wi-Fi and data traffic to give you a faster download speed. S-Health offers a pedometer and nutrition monitor and the ability to measure heart rate. Finger scanner can be used to open your phone with only a simple swipe of a finger over the fingerprint sensor. You can set up three fingerprints. Also, this function will be detailed in another video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time!